My name is Marcus James Jackson. And how old are you? I'm 11 years old. What year are you at school? Uh, year 6. What is your favourite? <laughs> are you laughing? This is my brother Marcus. He plays basketball on Mondays, is obsessed with Pokemon, and clearly can't always control the giggles. He's part of his local scouts club, and he's also been diagnosed as on the autistic spectrum. He comes out with top scores in school. Marcus Jackson. Marcus for academic excellence. And he's got a brain always hungry for answers. Now, if you haven't got a family member or a close friend who's on the autism spectrum, the word could mean nothing to you, or just be a playground insult from primary school. So, here's a quick rundown. Often, autism goes undiagnosed and is passed off as misbehaving children, uninterested teens, and non-participating boys and girls. One in 66 people in New Zealand is on the autism spectrum. Because the spectrum for autism is so wide, there aren't any set symptoms to look out for. However, there are two informal terms to categorize with. High functioning. These children are highly intelligent and can read, write, and do any other basic life skill just like a neurotypical child. However, they can struggle with social situations and communicating with others. Social cues can be difficult, but order and routine in their lives is sometimes a need. Low functioning autism is often more recognized as the symptoms are a bit more obvious. Some of these symptoms include memory impairment, epilepsy, and a lack of speech, and other disabilities that make it difficult to take on life independently. Low functioning and high functioning autism are informal terms due to the fact that so many children, teens and adults rarely sit at one end or the other of the spectrum. A mix of attributes can be confusing when using these labels. There is an alternate method of labeling autism that does not take into account social settings or intelligence. The DSM-5 model instead uses levels of support. A level 1 autistic person would require the least support, while a level 3 would require the most. Now if there's anyone who knows how to deal with my brother, it's my very own mother. So I interviewed her to see what it's really like to go through the entire process. I have a son called Marcus. He's just turned 11 and uh, last year and the year before we went through investigations to um, see if we could get him diagnosed with something to help his, his learning. And it turns out that he has traits of autistic spectrum disorder. Uh, a lot of it comes from social situations. He doesn't understand cues. People might be giving him non-verbally or verbally. That means they want to change the direction of the play. He, he has a very strong sense of justice as well. And if something doesn't go his way or if someone changes something up on him, he doesn't respond to that very well. He's also a perfectionist and he won't attempt something if he worries that he will fail at it. It's made me probably slow down a lot and try to see things from his perspective a lot more. I, I used to kind of hurry him along and just not really take into consideration the way that he was different from my other children. The fact that he might need a different approach. That's that's what's changed, I think. That it doesn't change him as a person. It just might change your approach to him and um, the way you might introduce a new idea to him. It doesn't mean that he's not a normal kid who wants to run around and play tag and kick a ball and stuff. It just might mean that he needs a bit more preparation about playing the game in the first place. So I've had to be his advocate. I've had to really get in there and just make sure that he's being treated fairly and that they were appreciating him not just as a kid who was difficult, but as a kid who has special needs. Although they might be minor, they're still special needs and um, he deserves to get the best education you know, possible for him as an individual. You know, I think every teacher who has an ASD kid in her class needs to go on a course. There's a great Autism Speaks course that I think would do them the world of good knowing what works for the kid and what probably isn't going to work with the kid. Yeah, that, I think that would be a great idea. What do you wish more people knew about you? That I was a nice person. Making friends was a struggle for me last year. Across waters, things aren't so crystal clear. While New Zealand seems to be moving forward, other locations around the globe aren't so accommodating. 
autism affects about one in 68 children, which means there's also been a significant increase in the number of students with autism. Well, you find all kinds of kids in mainstream school classrooms, but should children with autism be among them? If you've got someone there disrupting the class and that they become the focus of the entire teacher's teacher's entire attention, then that means obviously the rest of the class isn't, uh, isn't getting taught. A nine-year-old kid sobs as he is placed in handcuffs at his elementary school. Cool. Devin says the fight on the school playground was triggered after his classmates started bullying him. Devin, who is autistic, was charged with battery and criminal mischief. A dad who was worried that the teachers may have been bullying his autistic son at school. Uh, now, now close hands down twice. Uh, uh, hands together. Now, now, they treated them as if they were unfeeling machines who could, because of their disabilities, could never tell their parents about what they were doing in that class. Teacher trusted with students who have severe disabilities now charged with physically and emotionally abusing one of them. Austin's special education teacher was physically and verbally abusing him. When a child like him uh, is being abused in some uh, shape or form that can't come and, and tell you, you know, and to me that makes it worse. The school has now said in a statement that their faculty handled the situation calmly and with compassion. I know what you're thinking. This looks bad. But when I was researching New Zealand cases of this kind of rotten abuse, I came up relatively empty. In New Zealand, there are multiple organizations and support systems for families with people on the spectrum. The same can't be said for other countries around the world. New Zealand has a very clean record and has a variety of resources for on the spectrum parents and kids to access. These organizations and support systems make it clearer to people on the spectrum that they can live a happy and successful life. So I set out to find my very own success case. This is Katie Fletcher and her brother Matthew, now 19, was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome and has made quite the future for himself. Um, at first they did like worry whether he'd be able to go through mainstream school. Um, my parents in particular thought that maybe it would be best for him to go to a special needs school. However, they made a decision to let him go into a mainstream primary school because he's very confident to just sit by himself and do his own thing. Um, as he got older, it kind of drew less attention to him. And so he's currently at the University of Auckland and he's doing a conjoint degree in arts and law. Um, so within arts, he's studying politics and economics. Um, I wish more people knew that not all people with Asperger's or autism fit the stereotypes and that in the case of my brother, he's incredibly intelligent, um, really kind natured, and yeah, he really fits in well with people. Having autism or Asperger's syndrome doesn't have to define you, doesn't have to define what your life will end up like being. I think the most important thing is that, you know, you can live a completely normal and happy life and you can go on to do really incredible things um, despite that. Academically, Marcus is flying high. He consistently sets and maintains high standards when working and constantly challenges himself to work to the best of his ability. His written language skills are outstanding and he regularly produces work that is a model for others. Marcus has made significant progress socially this year. He is able to display self-control and maturity in a range of situations and has demonstrated the qualities of a good friend. Marcus is having a tremendous final year at Mellons Bay School. You are an asset to room five, and we love having you in the class. Keep up the wonderful efforts.